Yeah, I mean, just so for my personal thing, um, look, I, I know it, it actually does lose me women that I'm not willing to pay for first dates. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just, I don't want to feel like a sucker. I've been there before. Is I don't want to like do it. Is this like something you're dealing with personally? What do you mean? Like, is this a this, problem? This is something that pretty much all have... men are dealing with. Let me okay. ask you, how do you get out of this? What, where do you go from this? You don't yeah. want to feel like a sucker. I don't know if this happened in the past. What now? How do I get you married? Well, so, so okay, we'll, we'll get to the marriage thing okay. in a little bit because I know you wanted to talk about marriage. Um, so I'm not necessarily opposed to falling into more of a, like, taking care of a girl. I certainly mm -hmm. have the finances to do it um, down the road. Okay. But up front, no. You need to, like, I need to know, I need to get to know you before I'm prepared to do that okay but what is that so you need to get to know her in a way where you're not spending money on her because if you are then you might get bit in the ass or what it, it's really just a matter of principle to me it's not, i know it's i know not but about i know the loss of money it's, it's I, just, I know and i actually get the principle i respect that but how how, how do you as a man because mm -hmm. you're a single guy in this crazy market right now how do you move how do you move on how do you navigate this do you go to the park and you and you hang out at the park? Oh, like how do I do dates? I how do you do dates and invest in and also invest no money because you're scared that she might? Sure. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll put like? you on some game. What, okay. what did you have to say? So if you want so badly to be fair and not pay the girl's meal, doesn't that kind of make the girl have less respect for herself and less self-esteem to be willing to go half and half on a first date? So like, does that mean you're setting yourself up to be with less lower value girls because you refuse to appreciate their value from the beginning? What do you mean appreciate their value? Like pay for the dinner. Why is that appreciating someone's value? Um, from a traditional standpoint. The man from a traditional standpoint, yeah. but like women are not really traditional anymore. I mean, you mentioned, yeah. you mentioned men should be gentlemen. Where are the ladies? We're right here. But you just said you're an escort. I mean like, you're not a lady. Excuse me? You're a female, but you're not a lady. What makes me not a lady? Well, I don't consider, I'm not, I suppose I'm not a gentleman. Because I got in a shitty situation at 18 and did what I had to do to survive and pay my bills. That, that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't undo the fact that, look, you that are not a lady. That doesn't make me not a lady, I'm a survivor. I'm someone that's really strong. Like, I don't understand how I wouldn't I'm be a lady. Sure, you, you can be strong, but you, when I say lady, I'm sort of talking about traditional gender roles. So a gentleman versus a lady. Yeah. But traditionally, like... A gentleman is someone who pays for your date, who protects you, who provides, who's a gentleman. Do you think we don't deserve that That's because we're man. sex workers? Hmm? Do you think we don't deserve that because we're sex workers? It's not a question of deserving and not deserving, but what I'm trying to point out is, is that as sex workers, you are not traditional women. What I feel if like you find saying, that offensive that I don't consider you you traditional women, I'm sure you can admit yourself well, you you're not a traditional woman. Well, you don't consider me a lady. I just figure you think that I should go like be on the street corner that's or not, something. Well, that's not what I said, but you're not. <laughs> what you're, do we mean by lady? What's a lady? Yeah. What, well, is, what lady? is a lady? A lady would be the counterpoint of a gentleman. Okay. So I basically just adhering to uh, traditionality. Decor, decorum and traditional gender roles. Okay. Okay. So, so then. So by virtue of being a sex worker, and I'm, I'm, this isn't me trying to attack sex workers, but you are not traditional. Ergo, you are not a lady. Well, you're not a gentleman. You do a podcast. That's, fine. That's not traditional. Well, I don't, I don't think my specific... Job. Let I, me ask you this. <laughs> what, what, what job ought a traditional man have? Um, if not podcasting? A business. <laughs> a business. A business. He's running a business. This is a business. He could provide for a, a woman CEO. and five kids. He's See, a CEO I, of Well, so could I. I can Inc. provide for kids too. And but, but the metric, I mean, the, your, the, the profession of selling yourself. Mm -hmm. Either way, a man's paying. How, what's the difference then if a man pays for an escort or pays for dinner? Well, if a man is sleeping with escorts, he's not a gentleman. Yeah, they end up paying somehow. I no, disagree. I think a man paying for dinner is looking for something more out of a woman other than just her sweet well, I disagree. Actually, I disagree. I disagree, yeah. I disagree because, here's why, because, here's why, because here's why. Because here's why. Because a guy who who is gonna pay for a first date, um, he's gonna he's trying to do everything to stack the cards in his favor in order for it to get to it's the competitive. finish line. Yeah. Yep. He's well, he's you, being competitive, so he's he's he's. But what's that finish line? Is it necessarily just having sex? I think I think genuinely most men want to get married, want to have kids, want to have a family. I agree. I think that's what most men want, and it's you're right. It's very hard right now to do that.
incredibly challenging. Yeah, but but I don't think that if you don't want to pay for the first date as a guy, that that necessarily means you just want but the it, pussy. But it gives the impression to the girl that you, you don't like her. Serious. Like, you don't like her. Wait, do you not talk to right. girls before you take them on a date? Oh, right. This comes back to your question. Like, okay, how do I actually, how does this actually What's play out? Yeah. How does it look? What's the strat? Okay, so, well, first off, um, no dinner dates. Okay. Never dinner dates. So it's either meet for like a, a tea or a coffee or mm. something. Um, or you meet for a drink. Um, I'm not a big drinker, but, you know, occasionally I'll have like a glass of wine or a beer. And I'm not really like, I mean, this has changed throughout the years. But here's the game plan. I'm giving you guys some game. So first off, you show up early or okay. you just show up on time because most of the time the girls are going to be late anyways. Mm -hmm. Five, ten minutes late. That's my experience. Nine, I'd say 90% of the time the girl's going to be ten minutes late on the first date. Um, so if you get there early, you just talk to the way it depends if it's a sit down place and they come to you, even if it's for a drink, sometimes there's waiters that will come to you for a drink. You just say before she's there, you talk to the waiter and you're just like, Hey, at the end, just bring two checks. Boom. So it's not even like a thing. So he puts a check in front of you, puts a check in front of her. You don't even have to say anything. Uh, the other thing is if it's like at a bar, you go up to the bar. If you get there early, you just pay for your drink up front and you only ha you have that one drink the entire night. Mm. And then when she comes, you're like, oh, hey, I'm holding this table, already got my drink, boom, you drink your drink. And then, hey, go, go to the bar, get your own drink. So the goal is, the strat, the meta is to preempt- <laughs> The meta, the, the goal, yeah. You had to get strat. your world buffs, okay, get the Ani world buffs. Yep. No, the, the meta <laughs> is to sort of kind of like preemptively reduce your risk or your investment. Yeah, I mean, basically okay. just get there a few minutes early, Okay. play, play the little game, um, tell, tell the waiter you want two separate checks, Boom. Maybe that, that way it's not awkward on the date when you're like, oh, two checks. There's there's not like this confusion. The waiter already knows yeah. what to do. It, you don't have to make a scene about it. Boom. He puts a check here. He puts a check there. Maybe I'm a big time cuck lord. I don't know. I, I think with dating, I acknowledge there is a risk. And that risk might be that she's just not going to work out for me. Now, and as the man, that's the burden I, I'm comfortable to accept. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and I mean, even that, that applies to my situation too. I mean, the other thing you can do is go do something free, go for a walk, go to the park. Now, some chicks are not down with that. Some girls are mm -hmm. like, oh, like, oh, you got to take me to dinner. You got to get me this. Nah, like if, if a girl's not down with a free date, if she's not down for a walk on the mm -hmm. pier, not down for a walk at the park, she, she's playing some game. Sure. She wants a free meal or she wants something. So, so then you, then you've already vetted her onto the next one. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yep. 